The first round of the first summer tournament did not offer too many surprises. There were a few interesting moves though. In this first board game between Vaishnavi and Sonic Buleva, we can see a very nice tactic from White right now in this position. Black has just played Rook D7, trying to exchange off this pesky little Rook. This Rook has pinned the Bishop, so he wants to exchange it off. But then comes the tactic. Knight to f6 check. Point is after pawn takes, rook takes rook. And the knight is pinned, bishop is pinned. This means for giving up the knight, Vaishnavi is going to get the rook. You have to understand that knight takes nine would be a blunder because rook takes rook. Rook takes rook, rook takes back, and then pawn takes back. It's just an exchange. But knight f6 just wins. Pawn takes, rook takes. Now she's, she has got a rook for the knight. Bishop takes rook. And rook takes rook. But she has still got a rook for the knight. After king g7, which might not have been the best move, pawn takes pawn, king takes, and the game went on. And white won the game. In a different board game between Amvi and uh, Purvita, we had a very tragic end for Purvita in this game. Black as a uh, Basically, up by a queen after a lot of uh, tactics. Black is up by a queen from the beginning of the game. But now her pieces haven't developed properly. The queen is kind of in the middle of the pieces. The knight is not that active. White pieces look a little menacing. And in this position, Purvida just played rook, rook c8. And then comes knight e7 check. It's not just a folk. Here, if black plays king f7, it would have been fine. I mean, black would have lost the h7 board, but it would have been fine. But she went to h8, which looks like a normal square for the uh, king. And then you can see what happened. She had moved to the worst square for the king. White just plays rook takes h7, checkmate. In a position where she has a queen for a piece, black gets checkmate too. That was a big upset in the first round. Third game that I would like to show you, here Vidu is doing well. He has got an active rook, he has control of the d-file, there's a target on e6. Black has just played, Jay has just played queen b8. Now Vidu plays rook d6. Nice move, putting pressure on b6 and d6, sorry, e6. Black plays knight d7, another nice move to, uh, to defend the b7, b6 pawn and stopping rook takes pawn because the queen's attached. Queen moves away. Black plays e5. Now it looks like Jay is winning, isn't it? Because the pawn is disrupting the queen and rook's connection. So when queen moves, queen can take the rook. But Vidu has queen check. And then he can save the rook. So after king h8, now he can save the rook by just... Huh, actually, he has a free knight there. Vidu just has a free knight. So in, after this position, uh, the queen is pinned right now. The rook takes knight, queen takes queen. But then after e5, Queen c4, now rook takes knight and Vidu is winning. But after this, he managed to get himself in trouble for absolutely no reason. It's a position where he is up by one full piece. And he just, these new moves are good. This moves also good. And here comes a very uh, unnecessary move. F3 was never required. And now he plays another blunder. I mean, this is okay. Knight e2, e7 is okay. But then here he plays a blunder. The knight attacked. Instead of defending or moving it, he just plays g3, which is again a mistake. It's just giving up the pawn. But more importantly, the knight was not defended. So from a position where he is up a piece with 25 minutes on the clock, he just loses the piece. When you have winning positions, no matter what your opponent does, you have to win. If you want to do well in tournaments, you have to win. There's no other way. If you have worked so hard to get a winning position, we should be able to convert by just keeping our nerves. Pushing all these three pawns in front of the king is not the right way to go when you're up a piece. Now it's just easy for Jay and he went on to win the game in nice fashion. I think there'll be a checkmate soon. And it's checkmate. In another game between Vihan Giridhar and Dhruv Dakra, I have no idea why Black played the next move. Black, Dhruv played, he's 1159. He played Rook B8. I have no clue what that's about. He played it in two seconds. Actually, all these moves are being played in 
very less seconds by through. He just plays rook b8. It's a free rook. He must not have seen this rook. He must be trying to play king c3 and checkmate or something. Or it might have been a mouse slip. I have no idea. He just gives a free rook and rook takes and then Vihan goes on to checkmate his opponent. There was some uh, unnecessary moves, but uh, he finally does it. What was the king? Once the king comes, they check it. So these were the games that I noticed in the first round of the first summer tournament.